of uh, Romans, the third chapter. Whose Bible is this? Whose people get stupid? The records called the Bible are the records of the Israelites. The Greeks and the Romans took these records from the Israelites and they named it Bibelos. That's how the name Bible came about. Which means composition, which means a collection of compositions. Whose compositions did they collect? The Israelites. And named it what? The Bible. Romans 3 and 1. What advantage then had the Jew? So what advantage then has the Jew, has the Israelite over all the other nations in this earth? When it speaks about an advantage, you have to have somebody to have an advantage over, right? Yeah. Read it again. What advantage then had the Jew? What advantage then had the Jew? Meaning what? Compared to the other nations of this world. Or what profit? is there of circumcision. Or what profit is there in the covenant that the Most High made to the Israelites to be his people through the circumcision? Much every way. What do every way mean? All ways. Much every way means everything belongs to the Israelites. That's why Christ said the earth, the meek shall inherit the world. The earth. Okay, because the meek are the Israelites. Chiefly, because on, that unto them, chiefly because that unto the Israelites were committed the oracles of the Most High. Was committed the oracles of God. Meaning what? What is the oracles of God? The Bible. His word. That's what the oracles of God is, His word. Read it again from the first. What advantage then had the Jew? What advantage then have the Jew, meaning the Israelite, over all nations on this earth? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Or what profit is there in the covenant of circumcision that the Most High made with the Israelites to be his people? Much every way. Much every way because everything belongs to the Israelites. Chiefly because that unto them, chiefly meaning mainly because that unto them, were committed the oracles of God. Were committed the Bible. You got that? Is that super clear? Romans the ninth chapter and the fourth verse. Start in the bottom of the third verse. My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption. My kinsmen, let's start with my brethren. My brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh who are israelites now do we have to ask who he's talking about hell no because he done named it crystal clear who are israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption to whom pertaineth the adoption what is the adoption christ died on the cross pertain meaning belonging to so christ died on the cross only pertains to the israelites don't pertain to the whole world and the glory and the glory what is the glory the kingdom of heaven. That only pertains to the Israelites. And is a supposition, meaning it's adding to what's been said earlier. And the covenants. And the covenants. Who are the covenants made to? You can read about that from Genesis to the book of Deuteronomy, the first five books. The covenants were made to the Israelites. And the giving of the law. Who was the law given to? Moses and the Israelites. You can read about that from the book of Exodus to the book of Deuteronomy. And the service of God. Who was made the people of the Most High. You can read about that from Genesis to Deuteronomy. And the promises. Who was all the promises of the Bible made to? The Israelites. Whose are the fathers? Who are the fathers of these writings called the Bible? Israelites. Let's explain it so it'll be crystal clear to you. Genesis to the book of Deuteronomy, the first five books, was written by Moses and the Israelite scribes that was with him. All the rest of the books from that point to Genesis were written by Israelites. The book of Joshua, written by Joshua. Who is Joshua? An Israelite. And the Israelite scribes that was with him. Chronicles are the records of the Israelites, the history of the Israelites. Kings or the history of the kings of the Israelites. First Samuel, second Samuels is the history of the Israelites. Matthews, what was he, an Israelite? John, Luke, Peter,
Hallelujah. Paul, from Matthews to Revelation, is Israelites. Hold your hand down. Listen a minute. Listen so you can learn what it's saying. Whose are the fathers? That's who the fathers of these records are. Israelites. Listen good so this will answer your question. So you shouldn't ask no more stupid question about the other nations because this ain't a part of that. The other nations place on this earth are slaves. Has always meant to be slaves. The only reason why they're ruling now is because we broke the laws. I'm going to clear that up. After we finish this, you should just listen to what the brothers got to say and learn. Come and learn. Because what I'm giving you is proof that this Bible is for the Israelites. That Christ came to save the Israelites. Whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers of these records? The Israelites. Let them listen. See, that's why you're always standing on the side. What you got to teach them? What you got to learn from me? You, you're supposed to be listening. That's what, you, that's what the problem with you so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans now, is you don't want to listen. You learn with your ears, not with your mouth. With your ears. And of whom? See, you see right in your mouth. What is your nationality? Yeah. What tribe you come out of? Okay, so who? Who's that? The Shamir tribe, who's that? There's 12 tribes in Israel. I ain't never heard of the Shamir tribe. That's foolishness. That's madness. You should teach them. You're the father of what? You so teach them right. There's 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. Listen, just listen. Come on. Come on. That's why I see some, some of these people that done woke up and found out the Israelites going to have to be put to death. Because this madness ain't going to be tolerated. If you don't want to, if you ain't interested in what being said, move on. You ain't got nothing to say. Move on. Because we ain't for no foolishness. We ain't no, for no foolishness from you ones that say you're Israelites. We ain't for no foolishness from Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Rican, so on. We ain't for no foolishness. So if you don't want to listen to what's being on, take your family move on down the road. Because we are not out here to play with nobody. I'm, I'm telling you straight, we're not out here to play with nobody. Whose are the fathers, out of whom, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came? Whose are the fathers, who are they? Israelites. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came? That's a straight, clear answer, telling you that as far as the flesh is concerned, on this planet Earth, Christ only came for Israelites. Continue. Who is over all? Who is over all? Christ was chosen to be over all. If you can't come through Christ, you ain't coming. So you got some Israelites out there don't believe in Christ. So goodbye to them. The Most High blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of the Most High had taken none effect. Because the word of the Most High has taken effect. People walk around here in their stupidity talking about it ain't taking effect. Just like it says in 2 Peter. Hey, ever since the fathers went to sleep, give me that. 2 Peter 3 and 7. Ever since the fathers went to sleep, I want you to hold what you got. Hey, everything is the same. That's what a lot of people are saying out there. They're all tied up in all these mad, mad philosophies. And some Israelites, the same thing, tied up in the mad philosophies that the so-called white man done left. Uh, and they, the white so-called white man ain't got nothing to do with Israel. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. For you're not all Israel what you're Israel. But you're not all Israel that the Most High want to bring back. What you're of Israel means you ain't in your right mind, so you're going to have to die. Two-thirds of you going to have to die. Only one-third of the nation of Israel is coming back. Neither, because they are the, are the seed of Abraham. Now he's going to the rest of the children that Abraham had. Ishmael and the children that Abraham had from Keturah. They are not the children of the Most High either. Are they all children? Yeah, meaning they're not the children of the Most High. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And Isaac didn't have all the nations on this planet earth. He just had Esau and Jacob. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, meaning the other nations in this world. Like the Africans, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indians, so on. These are not the children of God. So that's telling you that the other nations straight up are not the children of God. 